Okay, so let's try this problem. It's a symmetry problem. It says, pick out which of the following compounds um, that does not possess a plane of symmetry. So let's go ahead and uh, draw all these compounds okay. that it says. Okay, so A, it says, cis 1,2-dimethyl cyclopropane. So, cyclopropane, and then cis 1,2-dimethyl. Okay, and if you want to, there's the model kit that we can start building these things while I'm drawing them, and then we can show ourselves definitely which ones possess a plane of symmetry and which ones don't. The next one is cis 1,3-dihydroxy cyclopentane. Okay, so cyclopentane. And then it says cis, so we're going to make them both up. 1,3-dihydroxy. Cyclopentane. Okay. Then the next one is trans 1,4 dibromo cyclohexane. So cyclohexane and trans 1,4 dibromo. B is trans one three di trans one two dihydroxy cyclohexane. one of these has symmetry, but just by looking at the, these pictures, okay? okay? So can you determine in some of them that might have symmetry? Definitely A and B. A and B definitely, right? So we can write that, right? Mm -hmm. So A is not the right answer, right? Mm -hmm. B, remember, it's because both of these are pointing up that it allows it to be cut in half like that, oh. okay? So what about... Um, C. Do you see a plane of symmetry there? Well, if a bromine was pointing up, would it, it would have a plane of symmetry. Okay, so definitely that. But let's go ahead and build. Let's see if we can build this really quick while we're on video. So one, two, three. to be up, and the other one's supposed to be down, right? Okay, and it's supposed to be 1, 4. Okay? So, we got it on the, the 1 and the 4 carbons, mm -hmm. right? Okay, because 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Mm -hmm. And when we look at this, one of them's pointing towards us, mm -hmm. and one of them's pointing away from us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So is there a plane of symmetry? Not if we cut it like this, right? Because one's down, one's up, and one's down. But if we cut it in half like this, right? Mm -hmm. We cut it in half like this, we're cutting each of those atoms in half too, okay? 
So this side is the exact same as this side, okay? So you can actually cut these kinds of things, even though this is a trans, just down that section there. Okay, so let's cut that one. So does that make sense, that one? Okay. And do you see a similar so thing with this exactly. one? Do we need to build it? No, build build that cyclobutane? So it doesn't matter what atom is on it. Uh-uh. So that's why, they, that's why they did this one, is because probably the, so let's cross out these two answers. Probably the most missed one is this one, because you just looked at those names and you were like, oh, totally, fluorine and bromine, those are opposite. They can't be. But can't, couldn't you call it like D? This one? No. Halfway so let's, let's, let's build this one, and we'll actually put OH groups on there so it can look what it looks like. Okay, so when we do this one, one, two, because they're trans, right, if they were cis, then you could, whoop, fall off. If they were cis, then you could just cut it in half, like this, because this hydroxyl group would be up there, right? And you could just cut it in half like that. But since this one's down and this one's up, you can't cut it in half because this is a hydrogen, this is a hydroxyl group, okay? You can't do it anyway. This has no point of symmetry. In between the two OHs, you couldn't cut? Oh well, look, this one's up. This oh. is like me going like this and me going like this, right? So look, if I cut it in half, is this the mirror image of this? Uh -oh. oh, I see what you're saying. That's, okay. what, that's all it is? I see what you're saying. Okay, so is this the mirror image of this? Uh-uh. So you got to make sure you're understanding, okay? okay? So that's the one without a plane of symmetry. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, wonderful.